reading for December 28th, entitled, Educate Yourself to Believe. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Brother A, you must cast away your fears. Leave consequences with the Lord and let go. You try too hard to save yourself, to do some great thing yourself which will commend you to God. All God requires of you, dear brother, is entire submission of yourself to Him, with all the consequences that your acceptance of the whole truth involves. Satan says, What if it is error after all? Can you afford to run the risk? Jesus loves you, and if you will consecrate yourself and all that you have to Him, He will accept you and will be your burden-bearer, your never-failing friend. You have looked with terror and alarm at the cross of Christ. The yoke has appeared to you galling. Satan has made it appear thus. Jesus has invited you to come to him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. This yoke, which you were afraid to put upon your neck because you fear it will gall, Jesus says is easy. The burden you dare not touch, it is light. All that is required on your part is to resolutely lay hold upon it, and you will find it a support rather than a grievous burden. That cross, which seems to you so inconvenient and instrument to lift, which seems too heavy to be raised, when you cheerfully lay hold upon it and lift it, it will lift you and be a support and strength to you. You must educate yourself to believe, to take your stand on the elevated platform of eternal truth and welcome reproach and trial for Christ's sake. Jesus will help you. Angels of God will help you resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Believe Jesus loves you, and in your efforts to obey the truth, if you err, don't feel that you must worry and worry, give up your confidence in God, think that God is your enemy. We are erring mortals. If we sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. 1 John chapter 2, verse 1. You cannot cleanse yourself from impurities. Carry all your burdens to Jesus. He will help you. He wants you to not wait and expect through your good deeds to make atonement for sin or to make yourself righteous. Trust in the merits of the blood of a crucified, risen Savior. Taken from letter 20, dated December 28, 1867, to a discouraged church member.